Three, two, and one. What is the deal? What is going on, guys? My name is John Hilton. I'm president and co-founder of 1UP Nutrition. I am joined today by our CEO and fellow co-founder, Vadim Mardovan. Vadim, what is going on? How are you doing today? And today's podcast is on alcohol and fitness. So, John, what would you say alcohol does to you, and how does it line up with your fitness goals? Well, I think it all depends on your goals, number one, and then number two, how much you're drinking, right? So this is what I figured out in college. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to tell you guys not to party in college and stuff like that. Get it out of you. You know, it's fun. It's part of the time in your life that you got to enjoy. Um, but so I would, I would be um, drinking on Friday and Saturday night, right? And the rest of the time I was, you know, going to school and training and eating correctly as best as I could, you know? So there's two nights of the week that I'm getting drunk, right? And that's really screwing me up for all of Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and maybe partially part of Tuesday morning or something like that. So there could be like three to three and a half days where my body is trying to rehydrate itself from being dehydrated from the weekend, from Friday and Saturday, from partying so much. So like Monday, my workouts would suck and stuff like that. And it would really take me to get back on like Tuesday, maybe uh, afternoon or something like that to go back to normal. So I look at it like you're almost like working all week and then screwing it up all weekend and then working all week screwing it up all weekend. It's like taking a car that's just out of the mechanics and then just driving it into a wall and then bringing it back to the mechanics. This, though, is only for people that are drinking like like hardcore drinking, like college party, like getting hungover you went drunk. In. I went in. I went heavy. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't do that if yeah. they want to do it. Let them, let them do whatever they want. But it will affect your gains 100%. Like It's going to be very hard for you to put on muscle because you're dehydrated how is your body going to shuttle nutrients into the muscles when it's dehydrated and it's lacking water? And that, that, that right there is a start of a, a whole bunch of processes in the body that are going to build muscle and burn fat. So that right there is something I learned early on. Um, I still do drink alcohol occasionally and stuff like that, mm-hmm. but um, I, my goals are different now and stuff like that. So it's all dependent on that. What do you think, yeah. Dean? Like, obviously, it's, it's different for like a normal person trying to lose a couple pounds than it is for someone like trying to lose like 30 pounds than it is for Mr. Olympia bodybuilder guy, you know? So by the time you recovered on Tuesday, uh, did you hit up uh, five dollar Coronas on Wednesday? Hell no. No, you no, no, no. I only really <laughs> kept it to the weekends, you know? I didn't drink. Well, there's probably points where I drank a lot, you know, depending on like fraternities and crazy stuff I used to do. But uh, it definitely hindered my gains and I learned that de- early de- on. Yeah, definitely hinders your gains. Yes. Uh, yeah, for, for me... Uh, you know, it was, I will never, never allow, uh, you know, lifting weights and training, uh, to hinder my social life. Mm-hmm. I was just never, just not, it was never, uh, never allowed that to happen. So I would drink on uh, Fridays and Saturdays, but I, I would choose and pick what I was drinking. So I knew, you know, obviously it was empty calories. Uh, I know that, you know, no matter what, you, even if you take a shot of tequila, they say it's like 69 calories, a shot of some vodka is 98 calories. So when I went out drinking, I was like, but there's no way in hell I'm not going to be going out just because of, you know, lifting weights and stuff like that. But I must admit, at this time, I was, you know, good shape. Uh, I wasn't, you know, you met your goals. I, yeah, I was, I was, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to like, you know, say, Hey, I had a goal to lose 20 pounds. If I had a goal like that, I had to lose 20 pounds in 12 weeks or something like that. I'll definitely cut out alcohol out of my diet. It just, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be, be drinking possible, maybe, maybe a couple of glasses of wine here and there just so I'm not antisocial, but I wouldn't be, you know, taking shots. But yeah. I was I was m- most you know trying to maintain. I was trying to make some gains, but it wasn't. Uh, I didn't have any uh, kind of uh, specific goals that I was getting ready for. And I would drink uh, vodka water, vodka soda, shots. I stayed away from all the sugary drinks. Yeah. Uh, you know I love pina coladas and uh, strawberry daiquiris, uh, but drinking those and abs just don't go together. Um, I stayed away from beer. Um, even Michelob Light, I stayed away from those uh, from those kind of drinks, and pretty much anything sugary, um, anything that is thick, I stayed away from, and uh, you know, just, uh, just probably ne- and uh, didn't really uh, get too drunk. Uh, there would have been, you know, uh, I always try to, uh, you know, I, I just knew I was a guy, so you know, 500 calories, five shots. I kind of always had that in the back of my mind, but. Yeah, I mean, it all depends, you know, going back on your goals. If you're a person who's just starting a fitness journey and you want to do everything you can and you you have, you know, 15, 10, 15, 20 pounds to lose, mm-hmm. you know, alcohol will hinder you, guys. Uh, uh, but if you're a person who's, uh, you know, 
great shape already and you're just maintaining um you know and you know how to uh, count your calories and you're kind of taking that into account okay i'm gonna take five shots 500 calories uh, that day i'm gonna cut down on my uh, you know on my uh uh, like I would, I would, um, I know they say like, you know, have a great meal before you go out and stuff like that. Uh, but even with that, I always kept it in mind. I was like, okay, these calories still are calories. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're You're going replacing to, they're, them yeah, with calories of alcohol. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, it makes sense. You know, and, um, that's how I went about. Um, that's how I go about uh, life right now too. I don't uh, drink as I used to when I was in college, uh, but you know I still have uh, wine. I still have a few drinks on the weekends. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, again, it's it all it all depends on your goals. Uh, my goal right now is not to be at uh, under ten percent body fat, um, and if it was, uh, drinking on the weekends would hinder that. Yep. Yep. Do you, what do you think it hinders more, m- muscle gain or fat loss, or is it equal? It just screws them both up, you know? Uh, the right answer is probably, you know, it screws both of them up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but for me, what, you, what I would notice if I start drinking a lot is obviously the fat gain. In the first place, you start noticing is your abdominals. Like your abs just start disappearing, uh, especially if you... Beer uh, belly. Uh, yeah, beer belly, yeah. or you start drinking a lot of the... Sh- Freshman uh, 15, right? I'm sure a lot of people... You know, cranberry and vodka was very popular, right? Uh, cranberry and vodka. Before the, the diet, cranberry came out. I remember people... In, you know, you drink cranberry, you still has a lot of sugar. Yeah. You have five, six of those throughout the night. A couple, a couple hundred couple, grams couple, of sugar, right? Yeah, a yeah. couple beers and stuff. Um, in the first place I would notice it would be my abs. So just like little by little, the abs are disappearing, um, you know, but, uh, probably the answer, the correct answer is that it hinder you both, but you probably, um, feel like shit, uh, recovering two or three days afterwards too. Yeah. So that's going to hinder your performance. If you can't perform, you can't lift heavy. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to make any kind of gains. Uh, it's going to set you back. Yeah. Main two points are I think the dehydration and then just those empty calories storing as fat. Dehydration stops the muscle building. And the empty calories are going to get you fat, man. It's just what it is. It's yep. not a. Uh, it's not like having a cheat meal, really, where that kind of you know will, will help your diet to an extent if you don't overdo it. Yep. Where this kind of just hinders it. But having two to three drinks is not going to ruin you, right? No. Yeah. No. No. It's not. It's not going to ruin you. Um, and did you have any kind of uh, special dr- drinks? Like for example, uh, me, I you, like I went over. Just I just like stayed away from the sugary drinks. If, if you had to, you like you know what, yeah. uh, John Vadim, guys, I'm sorry, but I, you know I have my cousins, my aunts Man. come over and over on the weekend. I have to have a few drinks. I drink like, like, like a dozen, ten times a year, maybe something like that. And when I go out, it's vodka soda. And like yeah. I figured that out a long time ago, like you said, man, because it was yeah. always vodka cranberry. And then yeah. there's the Red Bulls and everything, like, but I don't want to yeah. drink Red Bull all night. I'll never sleep. Yeah. You know, so it's the vodka soda, man. I, I like it. Grey Goose soda. With a splash of lime. Yeah. 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 That's a lot of fun. <laughs> if you ain't boozing, you're losing. <laughs> um, awesome. And uh, yeah, guys, um, I hope this helps. Uh, I, hope, I hope you guys understand this, uh, you know, a little better uh, what you guys, uh, you know, we rec- what we recommend, what we used to do. Yeah. Um, you know, and. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. Comment below on YouTube and yeah. uh, like, subscribe. And if you're listening on a podcast, uh, subscribe to that one too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. This is Vadim and John over and out.